Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being here for our introductory press conference for our new ad hoc coach, Bruce Simon. We are thrilled to welcome Bruce to UW Spirit and Yellow Jacket Athletics. Coach Simon comes to UW Spirit as a decorated student athlete and an accomplished coach. During her playing career at Hamlin University, Bruce was a three-time CCM West First Team All-American in 2019 won the Laura Hurd Award in recognition of being the top uh, female student athlete in NCAA Division III women's hockey. Her name appears many times in Hamlin's record book, including being the all-time leader in goals with 92, assists with 93, and total points with 185. The 185 points are more than double any other player in Hamlin's history pretty remarkable. Following her playing career, Coach Simon spent two years, including one as co-head coach at Gentry Academy, uh, where she helped guide the program to an overall record of 41 and 11, including two appearances in the Minnesota State High School Tournament and one berth in the championship game. For the past two years, Coach Simon was an assistant coach at NCAA Division III Elmira College, while there, uh, Coach helped the Soaring Eagles reach the New England Hockey Conference Championship game in 2023. And in this past season, Elmira finished runner-up, uh, falling in the NCAA Division III Women's Hockey Championship game to RYFO UW River Falls. During her tenure at Elmira, she helped uh, the program achieve an overall record of 44-14. Throughout our search process, it was evident to us that amongst her experiences, both as a player and as a coach, that winning was a significant part. Coach comes with a deep commitment with, to player and team development, a drive for competitive success that certainly aided her prior experiences, but will also be assets to our student athletes and program. Most importantly to us, though, is Coach has a strong commitment um, and she's a tremendous individual and will help foster our, and mentor our female student athletes, prioritize their academic success, support their holistic development and well being, and foster relationships that enhance the overall student athlete experience. We're tremendously excited to welcome Coach Simon to our athletics department and our greater UW Spirit campus community. Please help me welcome Coach as our new head women's hockey. Hi everybody, um, thank you so much for being here and um, taking the time to come in. Um, I just would like to first say thanks to Nick and the search committee and panel members for the opportunity. Um, I am very honored to be named the new head coach of the University of Wisconsin Superior. Um, I'm very excited and eager to embrace and continue the strong tradition that UWS um, women's hockey program has. I got to meet many of the girls last night, and I can't wait to see what this talented group of young women uh, can accomplish this upcoming season on and off the ice. Um, it is important to me that my athletes are committed to player development, academic success, and are positive and influential roles, um, role models within our community. Um, our goal is to compete consistently for league championships and also at the national level which I think we have all the tools that we need to do so. And that excites me because I am a competitive person and I know our players are competitive as well. Um, but overall, I'm looking forward to calling Superior home and being part of the Yellow Jacket family. How would you describe your coaching style? What can your players kind of expect out of you uh, if they get to know you? Yeah, um, I kind of think coaching style is a little big, broad of a question. Um, I know I can sit here and say I want to play fast hockey, break out the quickest, the easiest. Um, it's also what can we bring to those skill sets and uh, be a little bit better than our competitors. Um, I also think my coaching style too is I would like to, for my athletes to be adaptable. Um, going from week to week on whoever we're playing, I think is huge. And um, I mean, even making those changes uh, to in, in between periods and stuff like that, um, I think is huge. And um, overall, I just want them to compete hard, uh, be creative, um, and just have fun every day. Uh, hockey's fun. 
Uh, we all love it. That's why we're here. Um, but those are probably my three coaching styles. Is um, I just want them to succeed and be one percent better every single day. What does it mean for you? You were in these shoes as a student athlete, extremely successful, as it was mentioned, but now you get to lead a group of women that are once in your shoes. Yeah, uh, that's a great question. And um, yeah, I'm a young coach, uh, coach now, and I think that helps me and them. They know uh, I've been in their shoes. Um, I graduated in 2020, so not very long ago. And uh, I know what it means to be an athlete a student, a worker, like having jobs and stuff. And um, all those things are huge. And I think for myself, I can help them keep moving forward and, and to, you know, again, positive role models outside of the community um, and help them succeed outside of hockey as well. Um, but overall, like, I'm just happy that they're trusting me as an, a young female um, to step into this role and um, hopefully guide them into um, extremely good athletes and people as well. Was there anything that stuck out to you in the interview process where it felt like home, of course, you know, you get recruited, it's similar, and now you're in your adult life and your yeah. career? Yeah, I mean, the re recruiting process is tough, and um, it's, and it, I mean, we're in Superior where there's still a right across the border, and. Um, but I'm extremely excited to try to compete for those, uh, compete against Scholastica, compete against uh, River Falls. I'm excited to try to get some girls from them. And um, I again, it goes back to being competitive. And I think we do have the competitive level at right now, um, which is great for me. I don't have to start from the ground up. Um, and all thanks to Dan for doing that. Um, and and just lead this group to hopefully the next level. You made reference that you're a young coach. What made you feel this was the right time for you to take that step from assistant coach to head coach? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it, I always say it's never the right time to be a head coach, but um, right now for me, I've been, I've coached alongside really great people um, and other coaches and I've learned so much um, in the past, you know, two years at Elmira, two years at Gentry, coaching in different teams in the summer and stuff like that. And I've had really good mentors also as an athlete um, and knowing what works and doesn't work um, to portray um, different things to athletes now. Um, and I think that helps. And um, I want to bring kind of what I've learned you know, especially at Elmira and Gentry and hopefully bring it here, but with a little bit of twist and my own twist. What are some of those things that stuck out for you in those experiences, but also in your student athlete experience that you want to make sure you apply here at UWS? Yeah, um, I think building relationships is key. One-on-one uh, -on -one development. Um, I'm excited this week I get to do that with my athletes now is building that relationship right from the get-go. I think that's what's going to help win games. Uh, they should trust me as a person, and that will lead into on the ice as well, is building that relationship. Do you have any past experiences with UWS? Obviously playing in Hamlin, I don't know, maybe they cross paths, or yeah. is this kind of just fresh? <laughs> yeah, um, we played Superior when I was playing a few times, and uh, what stuck out to me was their, their competitiveness and their drive to never give up. Um, I remember my senior year, we played against Superior, and we were winning going into the third period. I think we were winning like 2-0, and um, they ended up coming back and tying our game, and we went into overtime, and uh, it was just kind of like they have the tools here, and they want to win, and I want to help them win, and um, yeah, so that excites me. Was being a head coach something that you always hoped as a younger younger player to be? Um, not at first. Not at first. I, um, once I graduated, uh, I still wanted to be involved in hockey, um, and head coach wasn't on the radar. Um, I was in nursing school right when I got out, and I was coaching, obviously, at Gentry, and then I was coaching at during summer hockey and stuff like that. And 
Um, when I got the opportunity to go to Elmira, then I kind of was excited and wanted to stay involved. Um, and then, you know, my two years at Elmira, I just knew that like this was for me, this was what I wanted to do. Um, and again, learning from, you know, Jake was there my first year and now Greg is there now and they're two amazing people. And um, I think coming here and again, sharing my experiences, even though I was an assistant coach and now being here, I think I have some good tools that will help us uh, be successful. Any additional questions? Well, thank you all for coming. Just thank you yeah, for thank participating. You. Thank you. Uh, we have plenty of food, so feel free to enjoy. If anyone would like separate interviews, we can certainly. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you.